my channel. So today I have an Ulta haul for you and this is kind of going along with my Ulta 21 days of beauty wish list video kind of slash what were good deals. In that video, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do kind of like a follow-up video showing you guys what I actually got. So I'm gonna do that for you today. Almost everything in here, yeah. Almost everything in here I have tried. So this will be kind of like a first impression slash review as well with the products I got. So yeah, let's get started. I'm not really gonna go in a rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna grab stuff in here and tell you guys about them. So one of the things I did end up buying was the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mousse, Marvelous Mousse, <laughs> Marvelous Mauves palette. This was on sale for $16 and they're usually $32 I think. And I did go ahead and use this today for my eye look. If you're wondering, I did also use the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sleepless. I say this all the time, but this formula is bomb, you guys. If you haven't tried those of colors, give them a try. I love them. But this is the palette. Now, I have to say, it came to me a little dirty. I mean, I did use it today, but it came kind of... It wasn't swatched or anything like that, but the powder was kind of... I don't know in the box but I don't really mind because it wasn't swatched or anything like that so this is what she looks like I will do some swatches on the back of my hand for you so this is what they all look like and I have to say guys the formula is super 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 soft you do get quite a bit of fallout i will say but the blendability and just the softness i don't really mind the fallout too bad a lot of people said that these palettes are bomb and i have to agree i really really liked using it like i said my only complaint is the fallout but it didn't really get too much on my face it's kind of more in the pan and you just have to tap off your brush but like i said blending it out the colors they're gorgeous and it is really hard to find like a mauve eyeshadow palette so I'm so glad I got this and I will definitely get lots of use out of this I guess we'll just keep with makeup and then we'll move on to skincare so the next thing I did pick up was an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil in the shade Ebony. I do have one of these already but it was in the shade taupe which since I'm not blonde anymore I needed a little darker one so I ended up picking up the shade Ebony. I almost did medium brown I think it was but it was a little too red tone for me I kind of like a little more ashy undertone usually so that is the color it was actually kind of funny so this one actually almost all of these except for that marvelous mauves palette I went into the store to get because I live right down the street from an Ulta so these are normally like 21 bucks and they were on sale for 1050 and it happened to be on a Saturday and so I was like oh gosh these are gonna sell like hotcakes so I got up and I went to wait outside the door. I got there like five minutes before they opened and there was a huge line like waiting. And when they opened the doors, people were like running in and like grabbing things and it was pretty popping, but it was so funny. I heard there was a girl who was standing behind me in line and I heard her say she was wanting the shade Ebony. And so when we first walked in, they had these kind of on display in the front. And then one of the Ulta employees was like, oh, we have some more over by the cash registers. So the girl and I kind of looked at each other and like we went over towards the cash register to kind of get away from the crowd and I was looking in all the jars and they didn't have ebony and I was like dang it and I saw her kind of going and looking in the same jars and I was like are you looking for ebony and she was like yeah and I was like there's none over here so then we moseyed on over to where the crowd was and she got right through and it was so cute she was like you needed ebony too right and I was like yeah so she grabbed me one shout out to her for snagging this color for me <laughs> But yeah, these are really great pencils. They are very expensive, but when they have them on sale for half off, I highly recommend picking one up. So I only have one more makeup item. I did plan on getting more. I said I was going to get a tart lip gloss. Oh, there was something else I was going to get. Was that it? I think the tart lip gloss was the only makeup that I said I really wanted to get, but I didn't. That day, I just, I had been working so much that week and I was like, I don't want to get up and go to the mall for a $10 lip gloss. Like, I don't need it. So I ended up not getting a tart lip gloss, but I did go ahead and grab the MAC Prep and, Pri Prep and Prime 
Fix Plus Spray. This was also on sale for half off. It's normally $26. I got it for $13. So I did end up getting it. I used it today. It was the first time I used it. And I'm pretty impressed. I actually really like it. I think it really helped make my highlight pop more than usual. The smell kind of does have that MAC smell, which again, kind of makes me nervous because usually MAC products break me out, but I'll keep you updated on this. But as of right now, I really liked it. My first impression is it's pretty bomb. Next, let's go ahead and get into skincare. There was one item that I for sure said I was gonna get, but I just didn't get a chance to. Same reason, I think I had worked really late that night before, and I was like, oh, I just don't wanna go to the mall, and it was the Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. It was the travel size, and they were gonna be on sale for half off, but yeah, I didn't get to that. But, one of the things I did get my booty there for was the Exuviance Performance Peel AP25. This was normally $77, and I think it was on sale for... I thought I had the receipt somewhere. Yeah, this was on sale for $38.50. It is an at-home chemical peel, which helps with large pores, helps with texture issues, acne scarring like I have. I have used it twice, and I have to say I really like it. So it comes like this. The kit is really cute. It comes with a step one, which is the actual acid peel. And then step two is a neutralizer pad. So you put this one on. You leave it for up to 10 minutes, which I was able to do the full 10 minutes. It didn't irritate or bother my skin at all. And then what you do is you use the neutralizer pad and put that all over your face and then rinse with water. So yeah, so far it did really make my skin nice and smooth. I recommend doing this kind of at night. That way you can kind of put on a nice heavy moisturizer and sleep with it and allow your skin overnight to kind of just rejuvenate and everything like that. So yeah, so far I'm happy with this. It does say to use it twice a week for six weeks, so we'll see how this continues to work. So this item I actually said I wasn't going to get, but I ended up getting anyways. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Peel Pads, which these are very similar to this. They're both kind of an at-home chemical peel. However, this one only has 20% of the acid complex, and this one has the 25. This one says if you have oily skin, whoo, you can use twice daily, which so far I've just been using it once. I think there was one day that I used it twice and my skin did get a little dry. But yeah, basically that other one I think only had 12 pads. This one has 60. So I got this one kind of as like a maintenance type thing. This one may be like a slow and steady wins the race while the Exuviance is kind of like a extreme start me off fast type thing. But I've been using these in between my Exuvians peels, and like I said, my skin's been fine. I have noticed that my pores have gotten smaller. I feel like my skin has gotten tighter and smoother. And these were on sale for $22, I think, half off again. So yeah, I recommend these guys as well to you. Honestly, these ones are a little bit faster and more convenient than this one. This one does have the two steps. This one you leave on for 10 minutes, this one you leave on for three. So I am reaching for this one a little more willingly just because it's a little bit easier to use. But yeah, if you're looking for a good at-home chemical peel, I like these ones as well so far. And the last thing I purchased was the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector. I did end up getting this one. This was one of the ones I was like, oh, I don't know. But it was $24, which was half price. It was normally $48. And I figured summertime is coming. I'm going to need a good face sunscreen because I am so sensitive. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to fork up the money and get a really good one. It's funny. My mom actually got one too. She commented on that video like, oh, I think I'm going to get that sunscreen. So we both got them. And I haven't even tried it yet. It, it's awfully thin. It is SPF 42, comes in a bottle like this. Let's see. Oh, don't want to waste it because it's precious. It's very thin, super thin. Oh my gosh. And it doesn't, you know what it smells like, guys? When I was in preschool, they used to make homemade uh, silly putty for us. And that's what it smells like. Almost has like a glue smell, but not like a super sunscreeny smell, which I love. I hate the smell of sunscreen. I know a lot of people like it, but I hate it. 
and oh my gosh, it dries super matte, which is perfect because I'm oily, especially when I'm hot and sweaty, I get even more oily. So even though I haven't tried it, I like how this feels so far. Alrighty guys, and that is all of the items that I picked up from this year's Spring 21 Days of Beauty sale at Ulta. Comment down below if you ended up picking something up, what you picked up, how do you like it so far. I know someone commented on the original video, my wishlist video, that they got the Buxom Lippies and I was like, and they really liked them. I was like, oh, I should have gotten that. So yeah, tease me with things that I regret not buying. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls. I love doing haul videos. These are probably one of my favorite to make. So yeah, I'll know if you want to see more by giving this video a like. And other than that, I will catch you guys in my next video.